Welcome to BitRefill's Cryptocurrency News of the Week, telling you everything you need to know in under 60 seconds. And today, I'm joined by my co-host, Cryptonaut. Now this week, we've seen institutions getting involved with crypto, with CME Group launching Ethereum Futures, Bank of New York Mellon confirming it will provide custody for Bitcoin, BlockFi launching a Bitcoin trust for global institutions, and Canada has now been the first government to approve a North American ETF. Despite Nigeria's attempted crypto buy and sell ban, Bitcoiners are turning to peer-to-peer -peer networks, rendering the ban attempts ineffective. And lastly, German officials have seized more than $60 million of Bitcoin from a fraudster. Except they have one problem. They don't have the password to his wallet. That's all for us. See you next week.